Okay, and now I've got the, uh, see that little screw sticking out of the intake right there? If you look inside of the intake, I don't know if you can show you in there, but right in there is the other side of that hole. My finger's on it. And um, it's kind of just a little breather in there. So I'm going to take this stud out of here, a hey, little hose barb, and I'm going to chuck that on my workbench. I'm going to take. Hold the camera for me, Jim. I'm going to take um, a little bit of Loctite, put on the bolt. And guess what I'm going to do now? <laughs> I'm going to put it back in the hole right here where I took the other one out of and block that off. This is part of the Bly Racing kit too that I bought. Okay, I put on the uh, Bly Racing uh, hose that goes to the bottom. See it right here, it connects here, and now it goes, I routed it through the rest of the hoses right here, and it goes straight down through the swing arm, like a normal motocross bike. Okay, earlier on in the procedure, I took this um, uh, valve off for the, I think it's an EGR valve, something like that, um, and it goes on the, the front sprocket protector, you can see this bolt right here that goes across. This was in between the bolt, in between the bolt and the frame right there. And when I took this off, the thickness of the mounting bracket, bracket inside of there um, was just thick enough so that it held this in line. And without it, um, the thing was kind of cockeyed and the bolt wouldn't bottom. So I got a stainless steel washer. I put one on the inside and I put one on the outside and put the bolt in, it fits like a charm. Okay, here we are. The carburetor is all back together. It's got all the new jetting in it. The JD kit, the number 60 leak jet, or power jet as KTM calls it, with the part number I mentioned earlier. And I rerouted all the hoses back through the uh, little bracket here. And this is the one from Bly Racing that they give you. It goes right down between the frame. I'm gonna cut that a little bit shorter afterwards. and. The bike, I had to take the subframe off to get at the carburetor because it's such a bear otherwise. And um, I have the carburetor all back on. These cables come off like a breeze. You just undo this screw and pull this back a bit here and undo that nut. And same thing on the bottom right there. And um, these slide right out and the whole carburetor comes out. It's a lot easier. And there's the new junction. And here's the block off plug inside of the engine right there. That little guy, I'll try and zoom in on it. You can see it. And um, the one on the side of the carburetor is in there right there. That's the block off. And this guy up here doesn't get used anymore. I may actually route the, uh, the gas cap up to here so that the breather goes here instead of all the way down through. It used to go into the exhaust gas recirculation valve. So, but the bike's a lot cleaner now. There's a lot less hoses and I'll show you all the hoses later on in the video. Okay, in terms of uh, putting it back together, you can see in there uh, that little wire was zip tied before. The hoses used to run down the side of the motor there. I zip tied all that back down together. The electrical um, cables from the stator are zip tied to the clutch cable, hydraulic clutch cable as it goes up there. And inside the uh, right hand side cavity over here, where the, um, the canister used to be in this hole, see this hole right in here where my finger is, that's where the canister used to be. But it was just held on with one zip tie. Gee, I wonder if KTM ever expected people to leave it in place. I don't think so, but uh, more worried, the wires underneath there um, we're inside of that zip tie, so make sure you zip, the, zip tie those wires back up. I'm actually going to put one more zip tie right here just to tidy things up and put the battery back together and then we'll see um, how it goes once it gets going. Okay, this is what came off of the KTM 530EXCR uh, with the pollution control removal. Um, we have the 
evaporator canister here. This nipple just went to nowhere. I guess it draws atmospheric pressure. Um, there's two markings on, on the tank. One is purge. I don't know if you can see that there. One is purge and the other says tank. Now, we'll do the line that says tank first. I want to follow these so you'll know where they go on your bike before you pull all this stuff off. I mean, I, I guess it doesn't really matter how it's routed on your bike as long as you get all the parts off and, um, and, and get everything running properly. So the evap canister, that's the port that's marked tank, it goes off of the um, can, you follow it along, it goes to a Y. One side of the Y over here, now this hose is short, I cut it, I needed a piece of hose. Um, one side of the Y goes to the gas cap. It's the one that goes on the top of the gas cap and it comes up around the side of your frame. The other side of the Y, if you go in this direction, goes to another T, and we'll start here first. This T goes to the top valve on uh, the top nipple on the EVAP valve. So then if I continue on, I'll go back to the T here, if I continue on, you go to this funny looking thing, it's called a dummy valve, and it's held on to the bottom of your frame in front of your, your gear shifter with this elastic band. So that's not too complicated. So then we'll go back over to the can. We'll start on the purge line. So if you follow the purge line along, it goes to an elbow. This elbow is located in the back of your bike. There's a little mud guard in front of your back wheel that protects your shock absorber. And you take the one screw out of there and this slips out. I slipped it out from this direction. See it's a hose inside of a hose. I just pulled it right out and it came out. So then you follow this along, it goes to another T and the T here goes to the bottom most nipple on the EVAP valve. If you go back to the T and follow it along, this one goes to the um, in front of the carburetor. There's the nipple in front of the carburetor. You get the block off part from Bly Racing and uh, I'll show you that little nipple after. So then we'll go back over to um, the EVAP valve and there's one little hose right here. This hose went on to the catch can down below. So it was on the leftmost side of the catch can. Now this one here, let's see, the, the middle nipple on the, uh, on, on the EVAP valve, it went over this way and let's see, oh, this was the right side frame in front of the radiator. Do you know where the, uh, the gray nipple is? You can see it in front of your radiator. That's where that hooked on to. And I'll show you what I did with that nipple too. So. As far as parts off the bike, this is the uh, this is a uh, uh, the diffuser that was on the back of the exhaust pipe. This is the uh, restrictor that was inside of the pipe. See how it cut down through the center of it, and you'll see on the other videos how we did the pipe. It's quite a bit of that, and uh, there's the two layers. This was the little hose that got replaced from the Bly Racing kit. One half goes onto the carburetor, which the uh, the block off went onto. Uh, the new the new block off screw and the other half went on to the T of the, the the vent hoses from the crankcase in the engine. This little screw with the with, with the, the o-ring on it came off of the catch can on the bottom of the bike and you don't want to keep that on because it'll accumulate gas and it gets sucked in the engine. But not if you're desmogged. But then where does the gas go? So let me head over to the bike here. There she is. And I'll show you first of all that's the screw from Bly Racing that corks off the, uh, the cylinder head and hiding right in there, you can see it, my fingers, it's just above my finger. That's on the carburetor. That's the other Bly Racing screw. And this hose here, there's that little short hose I just showed you. It, goes from, it used to go from there into here. Now this hose goes straight down and I've got it routed right into the, uh, the catch tank. It's like a dream now and uh, it's just a fantastic bike. So those are the parts that came off for the pollution control and uh, hope that helps you out.